if you put yourself into the shoes of someone who's running a power distribution system today, uh, probably you have six or five key requirements. So the first one is safety. Okay, safety is not something new, but what has changed with safety is we need to bring that to the next level, we need to redefine it. There's more and more demanding uh, code standards and regulations, a and I think uh, it's not a secret, there's uh, uh, basically zero tolerance for accidents uh, uh, in the electrical world. The second one is more efficiency, again also not very new, but uh, uh, um, efficiency is basically uh, uh, required throughout the full value chain. Uh, in, in, in order to stay competitive. Uh, and by the way, we also should add flexibility into this. So the one uh, which I passed here is, is on the reliability. Again, reliability is not new, but we need to redefine it because we have a very, very complex power distribution system integrating renewable energy. And at the same time, there's a lot of uh, increase on the, on, 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 on the energy consumption side. Um, when you talk about more sustainability, uh, in fact, it's not a buzzword, it's an obligation. I think we need to preserve the resources on our planet on one side, uh, but this is mainly about energy efficiency, uh, but it's also about applying more and more uh, 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 regulations in context of circular economy. Take ROS, take REACH, take w W3E, so there's a lot uh, going on basically to, to pres preserve it from a sustainability side. Uh, and last but not least, uh, as we are at the conviction point of the traditional OT world converging with the IT world, we have to make sure that we protect uh, uh, our, our power distribution networks against cyber attacks. So it's very clear, right, that we have a shift of paradigm. On one hand, a big increase of the level of expectation. And on the other hand, a very big increase of the complexity on how to manage power distribution. And that is actually the source of the shift of paradigm we are talking about. A and that basically calls for three main actions, right? The number one action is real-time. If you want to be able to meet the, the expected level of performance in the current complex environment, we have to make the power distribution management operate real-time. We have to control what's going on in real-time. It's a matter of accuracy, of adjustments, and so on. The second main call for action is about openness. Okay, and integration capability. Uh, the power distribution is distributing the energy, that energy is distributing throughout an installation, and we can manage that information and use that information to turn it into collective intelligence that then we can activate. Okay? And the last call for action is obviously to manage it throughout the life cycle of an installation because the requirements are changing over time. So what is our answer, uh, basically, to those three main call for actions? Well, actually, it's pretty simple, right? Um, the first, we, we use three main layers to depict the ecosystem. The first layer is about connected products. So there is one thing I like to say, it's a personal statement, which is that, you know, the Internet of Things, which we talk a lot about, starts with things, right? So we need connected products. We need products that are more than simple actuators, but products that are data collectors. And like Marcus was showing, uh, we've been in this in Schneider for already a long time, and we intend to keep innovating in this domain, right? All our products in the power distribution installations are connected, connectable, in an open manner. That's the first layer, the fundamental. Once you get this data, then you need to turn it into information, and you need to do it real time. So for that, we have a second layer, which we call power structure, right? which is a full suite of software offers dedicated to manage energy, energy distribution. And we realize and we acknowledge that between a commercial building, a hotel, or an oil refinery, there are plenty of differences. Huh? The installation is not the same, the requirements are different, the way to operate and the criticality are as well different. As a result, we have a different uh, environment, but this is all based on the same platform, which we call power structure. Obviously, they are tied together, and to be efficient, which is what we're looking for, we first need to be reliable, and and understanding, uh, uh, getting the data to allow us to, to reach those level of uh, of a reliability is the first step, and then optimizing them with efficiency. So there's a one word that has not been used yet, and and and, and I'm sure it applies to the products, the line of products that Schneider is proposing, is uh, diagnostic. We need to understand the shape of our equipment, where it is, so we can analyze, predict, and make the appropriate decisions. Some of the key requirements of the future for me are to reduce the interventions 
and therefore make it safer for my team but also with the data that we can extract from the systems across multiple voltage levels whether you're extra low voltage all the way up to grid level we can then predict and optimize our systems to keep that critical facility operating for the long term. On your final point about competitive advantage, it's possible in industries that follow a kind of cost leadership uh, uh, position, um, obviously everything that you do that reduces your average cost base contributes to that overall ent enterprise strategy. It's not just the distributed energy that contributes to that, I would say the flexibility part is arguably much more important.